Welcome back everyone. My name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Dungeon of the Dragon Knight. Where we left off last time we were headed into a new area. This is the Dungeon Arena. I honestly don't know what to expect from this, but uh, I guess we're going to find out pretty quickly here. We're going to do that. How's our food situation holding up? Alright, we're going to do some of this. I like how we're making food in the arena instead of preparing for battle. Bread is important though. Uh, you don't really need a bread. You need a bread. Uh, you don't really need one yet, and neither do you. Okay. So we have some bread. We'll make bread as we go. Eh, nothing there. He does. Oh, there's a fire elemental. Okay. Nope, that wasn't it. Was it this one? Shoot. Nope. Stupid thing. Uh, nope. Let's back up. That sounded like an explosion. We really need some air magic or something to help take this down, because currently our only magic is fire magic. And of course, making food and light. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. What did I just throw? I went really far. Uh huh. Dire rat. That dire rat just. His day got ruined there. That was brutal. Oh, it's one of those weird skeleton things. Uh, what was fire again? Boom. That was really easy, actually. Let's just melee this one to death. I hear a thing. Is that a minotaur? That looks a lot like a minotaur. Oh, it's dead. Okay, that could have been harder to kill, in all honesty. Shit, there's a second one. I wonder how hard they hit. Doesn't matter, it died. Okay, well, we face off against a couple minotaurs. Really not that impressed by their abilities. Is there any secrets? There's no secrets on this level, apparently. And this place is just full of low level monsters. We gained a level with our fighters. Let's do that. So, strength and apply. And I guess starting on critical? I'm really not too concerned about getting hit at the moment, in all fairness. We haven't taken a whole lot of damage. So, I guess you are next. More strength. And more accuracy, and then we'll start critical with him. Accuracy is good because he needs to hit things effectively. Alright, where are we going? Let's see if we can't flesh some of this place out. I can't believe there's no secrets. That's just weird to me. So it seems like all of the tunnels lead back to. You colossal jerk of a beetle. Come on. Around the corner. Oh, there's another beetle. I'm not gonna move. Dungeon Sweeper, I got an achievement for that. But now you're, the achievement's in the way of my ammo thing, and now I can't see it. There we go. Oh, goblins now too. Some sort of sword. Okay. It seems like there's a lot of enemies in here, but I really don't want to like leave areas unexplored, so we're gonna quickly just check to make sure we didn't miss anything here, though it does just look like this joins up. So, there we go. What the- where did you come from? 
How many monsters are waiting down that one little- Maybe it spawns a monster every time I walk through there. Which means that we can literally fight these until we're level whatever the max level is. But it actually doesn't appear like it's spawning, so I think we're okay. Except there's another one of those. Come on. You missed. I wonder if it really does respawn one every time. That's the case, we can't just keep doing this forever. It will, it, it will be boring to start with. Uh, we have level 3 spirit magic. We're fine on that. Let's start working on maybe some life magic. Get some more healing up, but we don't really need it. That's for just laying waste to everything. There's another thing coming up. Do I... Shit, oh that's bad. That's really bad positioning. I'm watching my back, I just gotta get through here. Those are spawning at a very incredible rate. Okay. Well, that was interesting. And a little scary. Shit. Oh my god, there's so many enemies in here. I guess it is called the arena, so that does make some sense. We need to figure out how to kill that thing, though. Oops. Where did it go? Probably more spirit magic, I'm guessing, to kill it. That did some damage. Apparently, whatever I just threw at it killed it. Was that a rock? Okay, I'm gonna quick save because that was like a hell of a lot of fights in a row. Wait, hold up. Is there nothing back here? It's just. A spawning chamber? Yeah, because that thing just definitely spawned behind me. Alright, well, I think we're effectively done here. I mean, there's not a lot to do other than apparently die to spawning things that just keep coming endlessly, so let's just move out of here. Can they actually escape this place and attack us back here? Also, how do we get out of here? That's an even better question. Maybe we have to win before it opens? But we've killed so many things. Maybe there's a special way out that we're missing. I need you to move- oh shit, I can't see. There's a door, like- Achoo, excuse me! Oh crap, one of those things again. Very cool looking skeleton, mind you, but still, I mean, we're a bit busy here. I have another one of those now. Each of you get a big club now. A big boy club. Okay, we need to get out of here as fast as we can. Very quick save. Nothing. Nothing. Something. This off. Okay, I think we need to go through this wall. Alright, I think we're clear. This is the exit. Whew. Okay, there's a lot of enemies and they constantly spawn. So you can actually grind a lot of levels in there if you really want to. 
And apparently we can come back anytime we want because we're actually at the entrance to the arena. It's right there. You can just go through and get more experience if that's what you're looking for. We're going to head down to another level. We're going to level up quickly because apparently he leveled. And so did... Our Claire? Nope. Our fighter? Our fighter. And he'll get... Alright, down to the next level. We did the arena. It was neat. It was neat, but a lot of enemies were there. Now we get back to our normal searching for 10 secrets. The Bone Club. And hopefully finding a way back to town, because I think we need to go get some better weapons. And or maybe we'll buy some armor this time if we're really feeling it. I killed like 800 of you guys earlier, I'm not too worried about one. I thought that was 14 damage. I actually did a fair... That was a thousand experience? Must be a buffed up version of the creepy rats. So this is close, but probably has a secret button or something nearby. Maybe a lever? I hear a rattling sound. I see. Okay, let's go get that. Doesn't count as a secret. That is an interesting looking noble hat. You know, I'm gonna give that to my frontliner. He has 48 armor class now and she only has 25. I hear booming sounds. Like the sounds of a large creature moseying around. Noble gloves. 52 armor class. I'm actually pretty thrilled about that. Give me more light. We're in a lever. We've saved. Where are we? Okay, we're kind of close to the beginning, actually. There's something here. Oh, okay, I see. I already understand what we're doing. Got a key, I don't know what it's for, and there's a secret here. Shit. That too need damage to me. No. I found a secret place. Any other secrets down here? Glad that those things don't hurt, because we just got hit by like three spirit bolts to the face. We've gotten one out of ten secrets so far. You can have the garbage trousers. They're made of peasant. Apparently I just stole those boots through the wall. Wait, there's a thing there. How do I get over to that side? This way. I saw a wall. That's a long journey for a secret place. Where do you have boots like that? We, do we have a tunic? We have a better tunic than that one. Okay, take that. You have gloves. You don't have any gloves, so take those. Do you take off his clothes and then just die? Yep, that is definitely still instant death. Okay, so I think that guy took off all his peasant clothes and then promptly died. Or, alternatively, he got naked because he didn't want to sleep in his peasant clothes then while he was sleeping he kind of just was tossing and turning it's a bad night it's you're in a dungeon things aren't very comfortable and he rolled over and all of a sudden he was falling down a ledge into the dark and death below not the way I would want to go personally but I'm gonna guess that's probably what happened that's the more likely scenario We need to find a way into that room. There is a key slot, and we do have a key. Who would I give that key to? You. Oh! Well, hello, slime. 
worth a thousand experience. Oh, you know what we're not doing that we should be doing? Make more bread. I want to be full of magical bread everywhere. Alright, we'll just fight him here. Okay, so we've been there. There's a door. Okay, we're gonna go down which way? We need to go this way? Or find a way through this door here. Oh. Well, oh. That's a bad sound. That sounds like traps. I don't have a key for that lock yet though. I had to fill in the map. Ooh, our cleric and mage are both leveled up. Our mage is gaining just so much experience. I don't know how she's doing it, but she is, like, way ahead of the rest of the group. If we look at her experience, she's at level... what is she level? She's level 7. She's level 6, 6, and 6. They're, like, halfway through level 6, and she's already into level 7. So we're gonna grab some more intelligence, and we need something other than fire magic, I think. Or should we try for more fire magic? Can get air as well. Okay, we get shock is at level two, lightning bolts at level three, water balls at level two, and frost bolts at level three. Kind of like fire magic, though. She gained two levels. We didn't give her any leveling. My bad. Nope, not. Oh, you're hungry, I see. Uh, we have magical bread for you. Everyone's hungry, apparently. What's that? We found a right eye for a strange lock. You got it. Alright. Who else needs food? You're good, you're good. We're gonna need more bread. Make three breads before she runs out of mana. Ah, uh, wisdom, except, and we need more life magic with you. Although spirit magic said, manage your mind shields at level five. We'll work on that as we go. Alright, let's move. Here's sounds. Okay. Well, I hear chittering sounds everywhere. I know how to make torchlight. I know how to spirit bolt. There is at least one beetle down there. I'm guessing there's three. It's gonna make this sound. Nope. I was incorrect. There's just the one. It's like a billion life. Shit, that's bad news all around. Ah! Put those down. Okay, one dead. We'll keep him like this so our mage doesn't get hit. Our ranger can take a couple hits if he needs to. Alright, fine. Get out of my inventory. So many beetles. Why is there more sounds? Nope, that's not the right spell. What is it? That's the ugliest helmet ever. There's like glowy things up top now. Five thousand dollars, Jesus. Thirteen hundred, seventeen hundred, nineteen hundred, and 
a lack of anything in this one. Okay, let's, uh, I guess head back up and see what there is up there. It looks really bad in there. There's like fireballs and stuff. There's a thing in there. Nailed that grab. Was there anything in this room? Nope. Alright. That worked out pretty okay. We got some free experience, loot and stuff, and we need more bread. Why are you not making bread? This just sounds like bad news all around, but let's take a look inside. Oh, I think I've done this puzzle. I think I did. This is the map I first played, actually. It's coming back to me now. There's a lever there we gotta get. I think I walked too far. Oh well. There's a beetle right there around the corner. You can see it. have so much life. Dead as a doornail. And just a ton more money. We're gonna be rich. We should retire of this. I had a bug crawling on my neck. That was annoying. I remember this being familiar, but I don't remember what happens if you open these things, or even if you can open these things. No, because one of them is missing. That's what it is. You can't fight these things. But you'll notice that there's one missing and you have to kill it later. I remember now. Because it's like... It has broken free. Who needs food? Actually, everyone's doing okay for food. My neck just keeps itching. I killed the bug, but now it's just itchy. It's probably a mosquito. If I had to hazard a guess... Level 3, critical hit. And we're going to continue on this way, I guess. Oh, hi, Beetle. No hidden doors there yet, maybe? I don't know. Hidden doors are hard to find, probably because they're hidden. Grab that scroll. I wonder if I can do this, though. There was going to drop anything weird. Only three left. The monster seems to have slipped away. That's fine. I'll take care of that. But, there's also this way we can go. This way leads to a, g a fairly giant room. The chest. And like, oh, my light wore off. Some strength and accuracy's full, so critical is next for him. I think we're gonna reach max level long before we get anywhere else, but we'll see. <laughs> Whoops. Let's just uh, put that there. Oh, we can fall down here. This is actually a fall downable area, and you can get up there to get a secret, it looks like, but let's worry about that in a minute. I'll use some of these arrows that I never use. We found a tiara, and the tiara gives plus two AC, plus two charisma. No one uses charisma in this group, so whoever wants plus two AC can have it. This is not one that takes us to town, by the way. Okay, we're gonna have to come back to that room and look into that later. This leads down to some slimes. It's a long drop if you fall normally, but we could easily go down of our own volition. 
I'm gonna go down this way though. So I want that sweet, sweet money. We got a letter and the letter says... That's not the right letter. Who has the letter? Who has the newest letter? It's this one. Now I'm in the Stark Dungeon and I do not know how long I can go. I think that's the right one. No slimes yet. I think we have to go that way to get out now. Okay, we're fine. There are no slimes at the moment, but that is definitely a button we can press. Here's something opening elsewhere. Hello, slime. Eh. Which side? Wrong side. I was incorrect. Oh, that was a lot of damage, actually. We found something and some more money. We have a lot of money. Let me check my inventory. How much money? We have 52,000 gold. Are we supposed to have 52,000 gold at this point of the game? Seems like a lot of gold. Where does this go now? Somewhere possibly with beetles. I hear beetles. Can I quick save? Yep. Definitely beetles. Like the most powerful beetles to ever grace the land. And a button. And the button goes to. back up to here. Interesting. Alright, I think we're done in this particular room. So let's go find that enemy where oh, my mage leveled up again. She is a leveling machine. I need her to have all the experience though because I need her to have all the spells. And although we can get concentration up to the last level, we're gonna hold off on that. Let's get some... Air magic, I think. Creep portal's level 4 though, so let's just grab creep portal. Now I think fire magic, or fireball I should say, is just fire... air? That'll do it. Now we have fireball. I think we're still carting around that thing. Okay, so we opened that, but that doesn't help us at all. Oh, there's a thing. That's the other one. Got it. There's a necklace. What does it do? Did you just equip it? Or no? Oh, it's an iron chain. Okay, so it's strength. It's good enough on you then, I guess. Alright, so now where are we headed to? We need to get out of here. So we need to take this torch. Hello. Let's go back to that secret area and see if we can't find a way through. Maybe there's more to this room than beats the eye. And again, maybe there's absolutely not and there's really nothing else to do in here. Okay. So it escaped out that way. So it's possible we'll find it down here. We did part of this room, but it looks like there's more we missed. Go back to that stabby room. Just still happily stabbing away. Wait to go in there. That's a portal out to the tavern. Let's go there. And we're at 30 minutes, so this is a good place to stop as well. So. I'm going to do a bunch of selling. I'm going to do some inventory management Can stuff. I help you? We're going to quickly check to see if she has anything good to buy. She may? I don't know what that is. We have to kind of look at it. It is a normal sword. I think we already have a normal sword though, don't we? Yeah, we do. And no one else can use them. This one has an imperial, or sorry, a staff, a magic staff. Intelligence plus four might be worthwhile. 
Book of Constitution plus eight. Also kind of nice. Constitution plus six. Intelligence plus eight. I mean, there's a bunch of good gear here. Don't get me wrong. But the weapon selection is kind of subpar, actually. That's that plus eight intelligence. We could get her just like all of the best stuff. Get her like plus 16 intelligence. But anyways, we'll worry about that next time. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time for some more adventuring. Take care.